I won a junior one-man and his dog event when I was 14. <laughs> As the shepherd or the dog? <laughs> Did you grow up in the countryside? Nope. So how come you got so good at, you know, <laughs> manoeuvring sheep and sheepdogs? Oh, is things? that what it is? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, because this was like one man and his dog, I, well, I was just, I was going to ask you, like, how what did they judge it? What did you think it was? It? Tell us what you what thought it was. What do you think it was? I thought it was one man and his dog, just being judged. <laughs> I did, I, sorry, I didn't know. What, what is no, what it? it? What is it? Sheep herding. Yeah, yeah the, using a dog to... Come to, by, come by, all of that. that. All that. <laughs> you've, you've gone from novice to expert. Yeah. <laughs> you had to take it over hurdles through, like, different, you know, like, round and run. You had to look after it. It had to be well washed and everything. <laughs> That's dog agility, mate. <laughs> That's not. Yeah, well, it's not. Yeah, yeah. I've just been to do a crufts, then. How come I haven't won? He's well washed. No, I mean it. <laughs> I can't do more than wash it, can I? <laughs> so there were no sheep involved in this interpretation of the one man and his dog contest that you were involved in? <laughs> no. Sounds like no you prosecuted sheep. a Welshman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rob, but I know this was <laughs> Was it inside or outside? Well, it was outside, funny enough. I, I, I don't know, I've never been to one. Did you say it like I should know? You've yeah. never been to one, but you come by, come by, come by, come by. <laughs> Were you very keen on dog grooming? No. <laughs> you weren't? On the internet. <laughs> <laughs> so you... <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm a three-year-old puppy as well. <laughs> no, I wasn't keen on dog grooming. Well, how did you end up in this competition where you might have to make a dog do weird things if you weren't keen on looking Be after your Because I dog. was involved in a youth club. Mm. Ah, right, what was the was youth club? Was it one of them, like, you know, for not young offenders, but kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a lie. I think it's an absolute lie. He, d he didn't train the dog. He, there was yeah. no sheep. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I, I also think this is a lie. Well, I think we're, we're unanimous. Oh, you're <laughs> saying that it's a lie. Terry Christian, were you telling us the truth there, or were you telling us a lie? Well, sorry, lads. Oh, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Of course it was a lie. The last time someone found a sheep in Manchester's city centre, the locals thought they'd captured a cloud. I have made a CD of the sound of my kettle boiling, and I play it every night to help me get to sleep. Lee's team, is that possible? <laughs> why, why would that help you get to sleep? It reminds me of my grandmother because we were always caravanning when she was when I was little and she'd be up all later than me and the kettle would be just boiling on the gas stove and I could hear that little hiss and whistle in the bubbles. I had it done for me by the sound people at work. Mm. You really? absolutely like you're trying to tell us. <laughs> all I'm picturing is a man now with his big things on going like that in a <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how You're lying in bed with your husband trying to get to sleep and yes. you put the sound of a kettle mm. boiling. <laughs> and he's all right with that, is he? I go to bed earlier than he does because I have to get up at five. Right. For so... work. To switch the kettle off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you tried sex and plus, to get to sleep? When, when... Have, I, have, you... have you tried sex to get to sleep? Yeah, because Ken's got a good yeah. technique if you want to try it. <laughs> What do your kids say about this CD? They think oh, it's weird? No, they're... they put up with it, you No, know? you're lying now. Kids <laughs> think everything is weird. No! <laughs> if I'm really, really tired, I'll go upstairs and they will already have put a hot water bottle in the bed and the tape... the CD on the thingy. Oh, goodness, you're just off the scale. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lee, what are you going to say? I'll say it's a lie. You're going to say it's a lie? OK, Fern, reveal all. It's... a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a lie. If Fern can't get to sleep, she just rings Philip Schofield and asks him to tell her about his time in Joseph. <laughs> Again. I have told my children that every time they lie, 
a puppy dies somewhere. <laughs> Use this line on the children. Has it actually stopped them from lying? Well, it certainly seems to have done. Yeah. Because they do care about puppies. Yes. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a relief, actually, that you're saying that didn't result in your children telling loads and loads of lies and getting excited by the prospect of puppy death. <laughs> <laughs> it's heartening on that level. No, I but... don't have sadistic children. <laughs> But it's also bad advice, cos what if a dog goes to attack them and they tell a lie and the dog still gets them? <laughs> <laughs> Actually... That's it the nearest. <laughs> oh, that's the what nearest I'm... dog will die. So you, you just... You know. Well, statistically, you'd hope... Yeah. By osmosis, the yeah. lie will dog, kill... Essentially, you tell the lie, yeah. dog death spreads out from yeah. you till it finds a dog, the dog dies, and then the wave of dog death stops. Can I just ask Joe, why a puppy and not a kitten? She's not sick. <laughs> It was a difficult decision to make. It was a toss-up between a kitten, a puppy, and their dad. And <laughs> it's the kind of puppies are the sweetest. What is your verdict? My team say true. You're saying true, yeah? yeah. OK, so, Joe, is it true? It's a lie. Oh. It's a lie. <laughs>